the cattle. Um, that is... Oh, it's just a looter. So, you might notice my health is full. Our health regen is pretty good. Uh, where should our companions stand? Maybe right here. A little, little fun spot to hold your ground. So I'm, no, 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 no. Come on. Come up the hill. Come on. Do better. <laughs> right, chat? Go on the hill itself so you have height. Like, clearly he did not see Star Wars and know about the high ground, chat. Okay, our companion's doing some damage. Oh, that headshot was nasty. So the best part, Chad, is I could just run around in circles, and he could just kill people this entire time. Got that guy in the back, like a very fair and honorable fight. Oh, they, sh they hit me while I was aiming. How unfortunate. So our companion's got a club, so if he clubs him, we might have our first prisoner. He knocked him unconscious, chat. We have our first prisoner. Nice. We don't even have to feed... At least I don't think we have to feed them. Maybe we do. I've never paid attention. But in any, either case, he's, he's walking He's walking money. These guys are basically just like piles of cash waiting to be grabbed. This is how I view them, chat. Barduck, meanwhile, will keep sniping. He's got a... He's actually got more proficiency than me. He's more than likely due to his AI training to hit pretty far away. Yeah, see, he knocked another per person unconscious. The Bardock is kind of paying for himself right now. He costs, like, what, 200? I think we might be able to get, uh... Maybe 30 a pop for both of these characters. Now, interestingly, there is a place, I think, that can statically sell them for 50 versus dynamically based off of how useful they are. So, potentially, we could go to that place to be more efficient, but walking there seems like a big pain. I don't feel like doing it. Also, what is our companion doing? Oh, he's shooting. He's just missing. Okay, now he got a kill. So if we could get, like, one more companion, I think I'll be happy. Obviously, I'd like a full party of them, but at least one more would be nice. Got him. <laughs> doing a little bit of drive-by action chat. Don't mind me. Leveling our one-handed sword. Oops, I want him to charge, actually. Ah, uh, yes, the honorable slice in the back as they run. Truly, I will be the one to be foretold in the ages as the most honorable hero. Oops. Hit the Q button while doing that. Also, I kind of wish that, uh, you c that in combat buttons were different than the overworld. So Q is opening the quest journal. Even though I'm in battle, which I don't think really makes sense. I think they should have had it mapped differently. It's just me. Wow, he took three prisoners? Okay. So anyway, chat, we now have uh, walls of items. And since we're early in the game, I will be picking up everything we see. Later on, I'm going to take just like the first three or four rows. It sorts it by how much it gives us, if chat is curious. So, like, the stuff down here is worth almost nothing. In fact, I'll just take this for now. Let's go to Almera Castle, and hopefully our person will be there. So I'm going to hover our character as we walk. You can see we're at 79%. We're going to wait a little bit, and it should tick up. Went to 83%. So we heal a lot due to first aid. Uh, We could request a meeting with him rather than go in the castle itself. There's Talbar. He introduces himself as the Lord. Always remember, temper your valor with mercy, your courage with honor. I don't think Talbert's gonna like us, chat. I don't think he's gonna like... When we start getting serious, he's not gonna like us. So we're gonna hand him a letter from the king that we got earlier and improve the relationship. So nice. Take the seal's proof they received and give regards to the king. So there you go. Uh, do you have any tasks for us? No, you do not. Okay, since you do not, we will leave. Castles are kind of boring. There's not too much we could do unless they have prisoners. If chat is curious, you can actually negotiate with... Uh, the lord of the castle if you know them or you could break in and negotiate either where it works um or prison break them so if you're a melee character and you lose somebody and they get caught and moved to a castle uh you don't have to do anything other than raid the castle a little fun fact anyway we're gonna walk around the overworld and see our health tick up 
So I'm already 88%, 92%. So since we're like the doctor character, we're pretty good there. Now, this is a friendly caravan. I probably should not burn it or loot it yet. <laughs> Notice I'm saying yet. There, there are people that will pay us to pillage caravans, Chad. We just need to find somebody that asks for it, and I will gladly oblige. It's just like, why do the hard work if there's no reward? Do you have anything you'd like to do, Village Elder? Oh, you'd like to teach you how to defend against bandits? Okay. Well, that's kind of a fun one. Yeah, let's do that one. We'll save, and then we'll, uh... I, I could take a hostile action and rob them. Uh, but because we agreed to help them train, it's gonna look at our training skill. And depending on how high it is, it reduces the time taken. Since we have nothing better to do, I might as well as train them. I, that other caravan, though. I'm not gonna lie, the temptation was there. So as we train them, essentially, once we're done, we're gonna have them prove that they know how to fight. Which is ironic, because I'm the least capable character. My polearm, I think, is 15. Look at those slow, awkward swings. So we're going to do this a few times. I think if we do it six times, or if we get two people in one with a high enough training score, eventually uh, we'll be able to assist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to practice fight, then we're going to talk to the lord that's near the castle, or not the castle, near the town. As I said before, we want to introduce ourselves. We want to find who the bad lords are and ally ourselves with them. So we're, we're going to do a little snooping. So we can take a little break. Let's see you. Are you a bad person? How do you introduce yourself? You're a vassal. You normally kill people. Hey, yeah, that's a good sign. Do you have any tasks? No? I'm disappointed in you. Anyway, let's go back here. So again, allegedly this is a good task to do, but I kind of view this as I'm getting paid to kill people again. <laughs> Right, chat? Like, I'm paid... I'm getting paid to beat up commoners and then kill bandits. Like, is that... Is that truly a good thing? Is it... Is it, chat? I don't know. So we're gonna do this a few more times. We're in no rush. We have no allegiances. We're training our own friend to get 10 experience every time it ticks. So technically, he's getting experience. Uh, the bandits are slightly more difficult. It's probably recommended you get one or two people with you. And in fact, we could get our first troops. Hmm. We are training peasants. Maybe we should get a handful of volunteers. Or I can wait until afterwards. So the relationship you have influences the number of recruits, the quality of the recruits. And if they are in a faction you're at war with and they like you, as in like it starts getting above, I think it's either 20 or 30, then they will still offer you volunteers despite being at war with you. So those are important things to consider. Do you go for the long haul and try to befriend as many villages as possible so they basically betray their lord? Also, you can see my weekly budget. It costs none. Fine, we earn like hundreds and hundreds or thousands in a couple days. Uh, so it, you do have some questions as you play the game. Like, do you try to befriend only a handful of villages to get consistent recruits? Do you try to just be a goody two shoes and build up honor wherever you can so other so the good people like you? Um, you could do things like do you just burn every village you see because you don't care? <laughs> just for those kinds of things. I probably should have talked to those troops as they went by. It would have been a good opportunity to get our name out there, but oh well, too late. So gradually we're training ourselves up on polearm. Yeah, when, when the when the commoner is able to out damage or outspeed me, you know we're in trouble. Our polearm proficiency is garbage. So I believe we have to do just one more, and that should trigger the event. So basically what's going to happen is that once they're trained, the bandits will appear, and we'll have a little mini combat in the village. That's, that'll be fun. This is technically giving me small amounts of XP, so I'm also leveling. Now this is obviously not efficient for money. But it does make the village potentially like us. And as I said before, you could do the lawful route or the unlawful route. Now, in this particular scenario, I think it would be worth letting the village keep the reward money. Oh, see, here we go. So not saying the, the bandits are on the horizon. Just because then it lets us recruit more cannon fodder. So again, like, I'm doing technically a good thing for all the wrong reasons. So if they like us, they'll send all of their hardworking, able bodies to die in some horrible war. So for me... I just view this as a win-win. 
Like, you, you gotta fool people, you know? Like, if, if you're just always evil, people won't fall for the lie. Do you know what I mean, chat? You have to be like, oh, it was just a misunderstanding. You know, I'll, I can improve. But we both, we all know, chat. We all know. We're, we're deep down, we're, we're monsters. <laughs> Especially me with my sniping. Definitely a monster. So the villagers are slowly getting injured. That's okay. We just need them to waste a little bit of ammo. Okay, I think that one guy did run out of things. <sighs> getting hit by arrows. It's moving on. Again, the more time they spend fighting us, the more time that means our other companions get to do things. So he's worth 88 experience. That's almost triple a looter. So he's definitely a higher quality soldier. Now, yeah, they're all getting... Oh, our companion got bonked unconscious. Bonduk has been knocked unconscious. So there's not too many bandits left. I could probably take them. Come on, reload. So unfortunately, our accuracy was a little off. It's swayed to the far end. Right, so there's like four left. I think everybody died except for us, so we did a great job training them, chat. What a great job. I mean, I, I taught them their future role of corpse. Listen, I will stand here and have a shoot-off with you. I have no qualms about this. See, look at that, chat. I leveled. Like, chat, am I really a good person if I just got the whole village killed? Am I, chat? I don't know. Oh, I actually landed that shot. Oh, there's our ally. We have one ally left, chat. You go, peasant soldier. <laughs> We're like, live so you can tell the other. Villager, so I think you call them acceptable casualties. No, 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 no. I call them cannon fodder. And they were cannon fodder for me. I got... Oh, look, he actually lived. What a useful cannon fodder, chat. <laughs> yeah, see, I only lost one. They got annihilated. <laughs> so that's the funny thing. So wounded means they'll recover over time. Killed is obviously they're dead forever. And again, our relationship improved even though they're dead. The bandits are broken. Those few who remain run off with their tails between their legs, terrified of the peasants and their new champion. The villagers have left little in the way of wealth. They offer you all they can show. So I'm going to reject this. And the reason I want to do this, look at our relationship is now at 10. So if I go to recruit now as an example, we'll get a decent number of people. However, I don't want to recruit now. We did have, we do however have three prisoners. Also, you might have noticed, chat, our other character was unconscious, but he didn't start at 0% health or 20% health. He started at 46. So that is the power of, let's go back to our character sheet. That is the power of uh, first aid. So even though he lost all of his health, because we have five points in it, he's going to get 25 more health after every battle. Honestly, the skill is just so bonkers, chat. Like, it, it's going to get more and more and more out of control. Uh, what do I want to put a skill point in? Maybe a point in tactics? Eventually training. Probably tactics for now. We're going to keep raising archery for if we inevitably get a bow. But for now, we're leveling crossbow the hard way. I do feel like I'm landing some headshots, so it, it has improved. The range of which I have to do it is not terrible. So we're sitting on 500 in cash, approximately. Not too bad. So we're just going to go village to village, see what they want to do. We could recruit people, but I feel like that's a big trap for new players in particular. Like, if you're good at the game, you don't really need many people this early. And getting too many people means you have potentially a lot of people to pay to upgrade. You have to pay for their food. They could die and you have to replace them. I'm in no rush for an army. I'm like, listen, I can take out like 10, 20 people by myself. I'm good. I didn't even put a single point in damage from our skill point tree. It's good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need it. So we do want to try to build relations with random people. And one thing we should do is probably talk to the village elder, aka the guy that's standing still. The way you can find him in any game. He doesn't need anything. Well, you're useless. I hate you. Goodbye. So, we want to... Actually, you know, there's one thing we could do I didn't show off. So, there's... In the kingdoms, 
there's a guild. Guilds are kind of like super versions of the villages. They generally give slightly harder quests, but the payoff is that you can start building stuff in their town, at least in this expansion. So we probably want to get a guild master on our side before we start doing anything too evil. Because if we're able to pay for an improvement and we get money from said improvement, then we just have passive income and we don't have to worry about anything. So ideally, Chad, I'm also going to tell you what I'm looking for. We're looking for a lord who will give us a quest to collect taxes. I'm looking for that or a lord that is asking for us to start a war. One of those two are super crucial. And I'll tell you why, Chan. The one that wants to start a war, the experience gained on that quest is busted. It makes a lot of people hate you. That's the long-term penalty. The short-term, you power level your brains out. And then you just become a walking god. And the, the collect taxes is a funny little loophole. He sends you out to a town, or whoever sends... I guess sometimes there's female generals. They send you out to a town to collect taxes, so you could get 4,000 plus in one shot. But you don't have to give them the money. <laughs> you can just keep it. And I call that the sucker's quest, because handing it in, you're a sucker if you had that quest in. You keep that 4K, and you invest. <laughs> So if we get that chat, we're golden. I could do all sorts of nonsense. So like, see these things? Like, see this like potentially end game level damage? I could just buy it right now if we got the tax quest. So I I could be using a military scythe chat. I mean, come on! Don't you want to see what the balance shortened military scythe does? I don't know about you. I want to see what the balance military scythe does. So we'll see. Also, we have a bit of money. I could afford to get a horse. Um, but I think we'll be fighting people that have horses. Also, I love that you can just sell randomly to, uh, random, random stuff to the horse guy. He's like, ah, oh, yes, good sir, I have a saddle here that belongs to a fine steed. And they're like, no, 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 have a butcher knife. <laughs> it's like, but, but I don't deal in, in knives. I deal in, and they're like, no, 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 Chip Falchion. So, because we don't have Riding 4, we don't have full access to some of the good horses. So, unfortunately, chat, I will not be able to ride the War Horse at the start of the game. It is possible, if you select wisely in the background, you could just get one of the most unkillable murder machine horses in the game. With tax money. Without even leveling. Bonkers. Bonkers, you could end up with something so endgame. Um, but I can use a fairly decent horse here. Sadly, our horse was very mediocre, to be honest with you. Very mediocre. Its speed wasn't even above 50. Just disappointing. Like, this heavy saddle horse is better in every single regard. But I'm, I'm not going to pay money for it. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's go walk around the streets. So kind of like walking around the village. We're going to play the game of I Spy. So we're looking for somebody that is not near a stall like this, because he's the weaponsmith. We're looking for the guildmaster. Are you the guildmaster? You're near a table, which has me concerned. But you could be the guildmaster. Are the guildmaster. Do you have a job for me? Heard this week some travelers were attacked. We'd like you to track the looters down. That is one of the worst quests he can give you. We're officially being trolled. I'm going to tell you why this quest is terrible and why I choose not to take it. So imagine chat in the game world. He has picked a random location. He said, there's a bad guy here. You must kill him. On paper, makes sense. Sounds easy. What happens? That looter can walk anywhere in the world. And you have to find him. Anywhere in the world. He could, he could, we're in like the, what would be like a corner of the map. He could go to the desert. He could go to the tundra. He could go to the mountains. Who knows? I'm not wasting time tracking him down. One of the worst quests he can give. Absolutely not. However, we could see we could buy land with the productive enterprise, which I was talking about before. So if we manage to get 1,500, we could get 72 a week, uh, which is not a really good trade, to be honest with you. If we pay 2,500, we could get 143 a week. So essentially what you could say is if you're tired of losing money with uh, army upkeep, you could say, here, take this and then just pay for my future troops. And essentially that will just mean you don't need to constantly be warring. 
in order to make progress. Sadly, though, chat, we didn't really get any interesting quests from these people. I was kind of hoping for... I mean, I guess that's that's just how it goes sometimes when you stream. I was kind of hoping for more interesting quests, like a caravan quest where you have to protect something. Oh. This could be really bad. So I went to go visit a village, and apparently bandits are raiding it. And not just one or two or five or six, but 16 bandits. That is a lot. Um, oh, but we have, we have, uh, cannon fodder, and maybe we'll be fine. I was gonna say, I don't have an army. Ooh, crossbow, please. We'll take some shots for the team. So yeah, we formed a line. They're just pelting rocks at them. This could be a pretty hard fight, to be honest with you. I have to start chopping people down. Literally and figuratively. So, one other mechanic I didn't talk about. I talked about it briefly. There's colors of text. You'll see white text with this damage. It's also speed. So, if I build up a lot of speed with the horse, aka if I have a good riding skill and a fast horse, it improves the damage we deal with our attacks. So if I'm moving really quickly, it does a lot of damage. If I'm retreating, either on horse or we're going two different directions, then we will not be doing a lot of damage. However, because I'm on horse, I get a fairly good damage bonus despite having nothing in my stats. Also, the villagers surprisingly did well. So one other thing I didn't talk about, but we have a shield. There is a block button. It's the right mouse button. I can use it to block an attack. If you don't have a shield, you can block. And based off of the nearest attack, you'll either block high or to the sides. For a shield, it should always block. But you can essentially parry. If you also time an attack when they're attacking, you can cancel their attack and immediately punish. As opposed to just interrupting. Like, it straight up will counter it mechanically. Not that, like, it is faster, it hits them. No, no, no. It'll actually stop his attack altogether, which is nice. So again, that went surprisingly well, despite us having no army. And uh, we got paid 243, and our relationship improved. And they could give us more items, so keep in mind, they already paid us. They want to give us trading goods. I don't really want it. We're going to refuse it, and now we have another place that likes us. Look how easy that was, chat. We just went into a village, talked to them. They let us go on a killing spree, and they're like, we're good friends with you. And I'm like, sure, that's how that works. Truly, truly the way to befriend everybody is murder. <laughs> I mean, so far, every quest we've done has involved murder <laughs> with the villages. We trained the peasants, beat them up, killed the bandits. We went into another village, murdered the bandits. Very logical, exactly. Friendship is murder. So we're going to find the guy that is not moving because we know he's the village elder. We're getting good at this game, chat. Listen, we're going to play I Spy the guy that doesn't move. You s mm. <laughs> you awful, awful man asking about cattle. I'm not reading his dialogue. The salt is real. I want him to die in a fire, chat. Screw the, screw the cattle quest. So stupid. Yeah, by the way, chat, I have uh, 800. I would barely be able to pay for the cattle. I know he gives you some money back. Oh, I came across a mountain bandit by accident. Oh, they only have four? Whatever. You know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling brave and bold. I'm not even going to snipe them this time. I think we're going to go pure horseback. Let me get a nice little slice. Oh, I guess I could stab. I'm call, I call them little drive-bys. Ooh, downward slice not a good cut. I can control the slice. It's just my default control has it based off my movement. There we go. Fix the angle of the swing. So again, our companion will potentially kill steal us, which is fine. We want him to level. We take a little bit of damage. It's fine. We're a doctor. We can patch it up. Well, he's got a spear, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so our companion is just sniping them the whole time. What an absolute god. We traded blows there, but that's fine. We have more health than him. We should win this war. There we go. We won the war, chat. And our companion cleaned up. Look at that, chat. Actually, actually competent companions. What a good feeling. 
Ooh, so we have a small shield currently. What if bigger and more health? So let me get this straight. It has 134 hit points, meaning you should take 134 points of damage and res- Oh, but it's resistance six. No, no, but this is five times more health. That doesn't matter. So, okay, let's take these things. Are they better than what we have? Rusty sword is worse than Nordic sword. So that's good. So I'm looking at the damage resistance value, which is zero. That's a bit disappointing. Some headgear. A plus 20 helmet. Hey, we're moving up in the world. Got plus one arrows. Okay, that could be fun if we get a bow later. Falchion is a lot of fun. We got a decent amount of experience. One thing I forgot to do, I just realized. I did not look at the tavern in the other place. So that was a that was a faux pas. I should have 100% checked the uh, tavern. So the reason I want to do that is that obviously if we get more companions, it's even better. Also, reminder, I was injured. I'm at 100% already. So we're, we're I'm not going to say immortal, but we're effectively really hard to kill at the moment because I went pure doctor. And I'm also going to keep our companions alive. I got really scared. What is all this? Well, oh, they're caravans. I thought they were heavy knights and were deserters. I got scared. I did not want to deal with it. So there's an option for the tournament. I'm going to warn you, we if we had picked a melee character, this is how you can make money. So I will explain how it goes. There are six stages. They give you random weapons, and you fight random people. And if you get to the end, between each point, it gives you a little break. You can bet money on yourself and earn up to, I think, 3,900 money by only having 600. So this is a really great way for melee people or people with mixed combat abilities, because sometimes you get both, sometimes you get throwing weapons, to join the tournament. Or our book smart self with base strength and no skill. It's not that fun. <laughs> we'll come, we'll do one eventually if we do another session. I don't think we'll do one tonight. Um, it would just be a pointless waste of, it, we'll, we'll, we'll die. We'll be forced to use a quarter staff, which we have 17 proficiency and little health, and it'll be very sad. However, what might not be sad is our companions here. <gasps> I found the character I was looking for. So chat, there are a limited pool of followers. I think there might be upwards of 15. He is the god child character. I, he, he just, I won him in our party immediately. I'll explain why in a moment. So we have Jeremis, greeting fellow traveler. Perhaps you can help me. How is that? I shall tell you, but know that it is a tale of gross inequity. I warn you in advance, lest you are a color temperament. And so become insensitive and injustice done unto me that you do yourself a mischief. This is really ironic given what I've done with him in the evil campaign. I am by training a natural philosopher, but condemned by the jealousy of the thick-headed doctors of my university to make a living as an intelligent surgeon. I was hired by a merchant of the city to cure his son. He fell into a coma after a fall from his balcony. I successfully trepanned... Ooh, that's a fun word. I don't think I've ever used that in a sentence before. The patient's skull to reduce the cranial swelling. But the family ignored my advice to treat the ensuing fevers with a tincture of the willow bark. The boy died. The father, rather than reward me for my efforts, charged me with sorcery. Me, a philosopher of nature, such as the ignorance and ingratitude of mankind. The lord of the castle is reluctant to place me under arrest, but I'm anxious to move on elsewhere. They can say sorry, I can't take any more hands, or well, you could travel with us, but you'd have to be able to fight in our battlefield. As I told you, I'm a surgeon, not some Silk Robe University physician who never touched a body. I feel like he's calling us out. <laughs> I guess that's what our background was. I could get my hands dirty. Treated every variety of wound that could be inflicted by the hand of man. Before I was a surgeon, I was a student. So you may be sure that I've inflicted wounds as well as healed them. <laughs> what a doctor. Then welcome to our company, doctor. The battle's not the same as the tavern brawl. Perhaps you should look elsewhere for work. Wow, that feels kind of condescending. So anyway, we don't have to pay anything for the doctor. And remember before, chat, how I said if people are skilled, they will add more bonuses to the person with the highest skill total. The doctor has got a four in most stats. Four is high enough instead of giving plus one to give a plus two. We have the effective skill rating of seven. So we have the, the, basic, the basic ability of someone at ten levels higher than us, more or less. And all he had to do was join our party. So that's, this means every battle we heal 5% more. We heal another 20% faster. And if we get any other followers, they also have a 7 times 4, 28% chance of not dying. On top of the base chance of, I think, 25. 
So that's pretty good. We're already about 50-50 if they're going to live or die. Why, hello there. I see another companion. Unfortunately, it's not a companion. It's a mercenary crossbow, man. I got excited by the crossbow chat. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Who are you? You there, good man. Be so kind to fetch me another drink. You must confuse me with the tavern keep or fetch it yourself. We're going to say you confuse me with the tavern keep. But most humble apologies. It's sometimes hard to recognize folk among the smoke and gloom here. So I'm going to believe that I make my home in such a place. As my oh, this must be a companion. He's giving me a lot of dialogue. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this person before. I don't know if he's worth taking. We'll find out, chat. As my father's first son and his heir, my mother died and my father remarried. His new wife thought that her son should inherit. She could not move against me openly, but the other day I fed a pot of suet? I don't know what that is, actually. The milk left out for me to one of my hounds and it keeled over. I accused my stepmother, but my father, befuddled by her witchcraft, refused to believe me and ordered me to leave his sight. I hope to offer my sword to some worthy captain, as is the only honorable profession for a man of my birth apart from owning land. In the meantime, I intend to make my bet among thieves, vagabonds, merchants, and the other riffraff of the street. Um, some of my best friends are riffraff. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, chat. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm really I'm really tempted to click it, chat. I'm, <laughs> I'm really tempted. Um, perhaps you would join my company. I'd very much like that, sir. I'm a gentleman and prefer to fight with sword and lance. Recognize you are of lower birth than I. There is no shame for me to serve under an experienced captain. Presuming, of course, that your followers do not become too familiar with me. I assume that will not be a problem. Well, it shouldn't be able to talk with them. You're so wrong in my company. We have expect courage and skill rather than the noble birth. Um, I'm going to say it shouldn't be. I think that's the option he wants. It's very good of you. Before I join, can you lend me 300 money so I can buy proper clothing that befits a gentleman of noble birth such as myself? The coat on me has been worn down badly due to my recent bad fortune. I cannot let common soldiers mistake me as one of their own. Ooh, this guy's kind of a... Mmm. How do you feel about this character, chat? So he seems like the noble snob the other guy would really hate. Because <laughs> he just said he says down with the nobleman. What do you think, chat? Should we buy them and then potentially cause a rift in our party or reject him? The hard white fat on the kidneys and loins of cattle, sheep, and other animals used to make food such as puddings, pastry, and bits. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had it, to be honest with you. But very interesting. So what do you say, chat? Do we reject, do we reject the nobleman? Yeah, we're going to reject him. He also wants us to pay money, so just deal with it. So unfortunately, we're one companion down, but hey, we have another. So let's go ahead and leave just so I can talk, so I can show chat something. We're going to look at his equipment. For some reason, he comes with something called Pilgrim Disguise. That gets me every time I read it. I'm like, is he, is he evil? What is this? So we're going to give him a lot of... Uh... Ooh, we know what we could do. We can... Go buy more crossbow bolts. And then he can also be a crossbower. Oh, <gasps> Dimitar. Okay, chat, I'm not going to lie. That is my favorite one-handed weapon in the game, period. I love it so much. It's so stupid. It swings so fast, and its range is so unfair. We don't have money for it, though. Uh, let's see. We just get, like, an okay thing of bolts. You don't... S Ooh... That's an upgrade for us. I'm going to take that. Uh, what else can we get? So we're going to get more bolts. Do I need... I don't want to buy armor. Generally speaking, one thing I didn't talk about, because there's a lot to talk about in the game. Oh, we have a plus one bolt, but now we just get more. Um, it's very easy to get armor from other people. Eventually, there'll be a cutoff point where you have to go to the merchants for them. So you will not see me generally ever buy armor. You'll see me buy some items, but not like a ton of items. So let's give him a quarter staff. Not a quarter. Yeah, he already has a quarter staff. And we'll give him a shield. I think this makes him somewhat balanced. Okay. So now we have another companion doing silly damage. So our hand me down crossbow went to him. So he has absolute terrible weapon proficiencies. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's a disguise. But he comes with a three or higher in all of the best skills in the game. So we're going to be in pumping him constantly. We want him to be as high as possible on these skills. So this is a good start for us. Okay, let's see. Our so, okay. One thing you could tell 
if a tournament is happening, there are people at the castle. But they might not have fully arrived yet. Oh, I don't think they fully arrived. That's unfortunate. So essentially, whenever they hold like a feast, as in like they took a property, they usually do a celebratory thing at a castle, which will also involve a tournament. It looks like they might not have arrived. So they might have declared the tournament in honor of something that happened off screen. And then this is happening. Okay, as I said before, we're not trained enough to deal with things. Ooh. Well, can we help them? Can we help the farmers on this? We're gonna save. This might be a little risky. Uh, they have 26 troops. That's a lot of troops. We do have some farmers. I'm gonna tell us to hold the line and see what they do. So we have two people with the crossbow. We're gonna hope to whittle them down a little bit. If you're wondering what these chests are, you might have asked me why I'm ignoring these. These are essentially a way that if you start a battle and you need to swap out because you ran out of ammo, or you have the wrong weapons, you can actually access the bag and this goes into your inventory. So. If you know, if you're like, oh no, I brought, like, my siege crossbow, but I'm not in a siege, therefore it's useless. Uh, you could deal with it. Where is the enemy? Oh, I see the enemy. No, that's not the enemy. That's a bush. Where is the enemy? Oh, there they are. So we're just gonna take pot shots at them, because life is fair. I think the person with 30 proficiency is, like, really wildly off. Uh, let's tell everybody to wait over here, actually. Be a good position. So what I could have done is I could have made our companions a different uh, group than the peasants. So they would have actually been able to have, for example, stayed on this hill and shot as the wall of cannon fodder uh, blocked for us. But unfortunately, that's not the case. All right, so we're going to try to get the attention of multiples. Because the more people that are attacking us or looking at us, the less that are attacking the peasants. Now, that did a lot of damage, which is a bit concerning. That's why I did a safety save, because there are a lot of people. This is a lot more than I'm normally comfortable soloing. Because, again, they have arrows and all sorts of other nasty stuff. Eventually, they will run out of javelins, if they're throwing javelins. And there aren't a lot. They have, like, six or so. But until they get to that point, that's a lot of damage coming our way. They also have really good shields that cover most of their body, so getting a shot on them is actually more annoying than it should be. I think everybody's dead. It's just us. <laughs> this'll be this'll be fun. <laughs> right, Chad? Don't don't mind me. You just have to kill like 18 heavily armored people. We're, we could be here a while, chat. <laughs> I was kinda hoping they would do a little more than what they did. So, as I said before, I've been in sticky situations like this. And the rule of thumb is never leave the horse. Oh, I took some damage there. That's unfortunate. <sighs> oh, also standing still is death. Standing still is death. Okay. So I think we're going to see our first death. We'll just re reload. I was worried about this one because, again, it was 28. If it was just like 18, I think we would have been fine. We'll hack down as many as we can see how far how good we do i could abandon battle that's one thing i could do if i run far enough i can hit the tab button to escape it but i'm not a big believer i believe in just committing if you're gonna spend time on it i'm gonna keep going so we'll see how far we get but we're gonna be here a while <laughs> also please stop choosing overhead swing i hate overhead swing we leveled, but I don't think that's going to help us. Unfortunately, there's no way to regenerate in combat, so whatever damage I take is basically permanent for the rest of the fight. And unfortunately, they're coming at really awkward angles. So it's a little hard for me to maneuver around them properly. I mean, like, I'm slowly whittling them down, but it's just... Yeah, there, there's too many of them. I was hoping we would get down to, like, 12 or so, because 12 is not a bad number for me to get through. 20-something that were not killed is a little much. But you can see, like, I I'm doing I'm doing work. It's not like I'm completely helpless. But if they ever kill this horse, it's GG. I don't think I can deal with an army with an unlevel character. 
Unfortunately, they seem to be mobbing up quite a bit. Makes hitting them kind of hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was scary. I thought they hit me. I heard the smack sounds, but they must have just whiffed. So yeah, we're, we're going to be circle strafing, chat. The power of circle strafe is real. Oh, I hit him with the horse, but not my sword. Unfortunate. Sorry, you're going to see a lot of cameras spinning. Okay, I've got another kill. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting closer, chat. I killed at least six. Okay, he blocked. If you're wondering, my sword went like that. I didn't miss. Got a nice little stab. Fortunately, we have riding three, so I can turn fairly tight corners. This would normally be very hard to do with riding one, if not impossible, to be honest with you. Ooh, we got a little close. I bumped them with the side of my horse. Horse took some damage. Again, they're really clumped up. I kind of wish they would not clump. But there's nothing I could really do to dissuade them from doing this. We're like, they're just like, just close enough together. Yeah, I'm going to try to take some pot shots. Only did three damage. Oof. All right, chat, big oof. We need to do more than that. So we have a... <laughs> I love the javelin on the side of the horse's head. Not as you do. Nice. Got him under his shield. So that's that's where headshots are not effective. So we're, we're doing it, chat. It'll it'll take a little bit, but we'll, we'll get through them. Got through his shield. Please move. Please move. Not moving is death. Not moving is death. I'd like to start aiming and then pause the horse for maximum accuracy. I think I hit a shield there. Unfortunate. So we're at half health, and they are looking a little above half a number. Need to keep working on them a little bit. The front row guy has no shield. Again, I wish there was a way I could trick them to splitting up, but there's only just us at the moment. Nice, got another kill. <laughs> 22 more shots, chat. Let's go. Just gotta believe, right, chat? <laughs> when it gets down to five or six, I think we're in a good spot, but we have to get there. There we go. So there's, I don't know, 12 ish, would you say, chat? 12 ish? We did eight damage. Not good. But hey, I'm glad we got three extra bolts. I think it'll actually be relevant here. Didn't get the headshot, but we did get a kill. It's the easy shot. Can't afford those. Nice. And again, our proficiency's going up, so I'm going to aim better and better. Nice. Got another kill. I mean, this will give us an insane amount of experience if I could do it. So it's kind of worth it. Oh, I hit the shield again. Unfortunate. Yeah, those last couple of people are going to be real annoying. Got another kill. I think we're... Okay, now I think we're at 12-ish. Helps. Still a little much. I hit under his shield, but he's more armored than the other ones. Boldy believes in me. Okay, if I die, we'll pause and try to get the bot working. Or we'll take a break regardless, because th this is like, this is so tense right now, I'm not going to lie. So I'm getting very low on ammo. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, yeah, there's still like 14, this is too many. Okay, got another kill. Can I get them to split up somehow? I only have 8 shots left, so obviously there's more people than I have shots. See, that did 30 damage, so that was that was a solid hit, but they're pretty tanky. Killed another bandit. I think I killed most of the people with lances, which is good. I could, in theory, trick them into riding far away, and I could try to pick up one of their lances. Maybe. Nice. Because the lance on the horse would be pretty good, or a quarterstaff. They give me the range I'm looking for. Okay, we killed one of the tougher bandits, which is good. And again, we're getting insane amounts of XP for what it is. And yeah, normally at this point in the game, you should have had an army. I'm getting punished for not having a real army. 
And only two bolts left and we are hopeless. If I had stones, I no joke would be throwing them right now. Although we could try to go back to the, uh, the bag for items, wherever it is now. Okay, this is good. That's an almost doable number of people. We could get like one more kill. Oh, we even leveled again. We leveled twice in one battle chat. Okay, where was the bag out of curiosity? Oh no, I forgot where the bag was. Oh, there, there it is. It's like way over there. So in theory... Oh no, I gave the bolts to my friend already. Mm. If I had another spare set of bolts, I actually would have been able to go in the bag right now and go get it. But I mean, I feel like I was pretty successful, Chad. Can we just say? I mean, that's basically all of my kills. Also, I made them split up, which is what I wanted them to do earlier. Okay, this is good. I love the giant javelin in our brain of the horse. Got another kill. He blocked it. Got another kill. No, no pressure. Just got to showcase I know how to play the game. <laughs> Don't mind me, chat. We're not hilariously outnumbered. Just can one man and his stabby sword beat an entire army? Is the question. The, we, we're we learning the, the school of murder, apparently. Okay. I think we have a chance of killing you. I'm going to go for it. Didn't kill him, but it did a lot of damage. Honestly, at this point, they might be demoralized. They might actually legitimately start running. Especially when I do that. <gasps> Are they actually running? Did I did I do it? <laughs> They're starting to flee, chat. Their morale is wavering. Yes. <laughs> We're going to do it, chat. I just have to not die. And we got to hunt down the stragglers to show them a lesson. And that lesson is don't mess with me when I'm showcasing a game. Jerks. Aw. Hit him with the horse instead of the sword. Hate it when that happens. Oops. Let's maneuver away from the enemy. Okay, this was masterful gameplay. I didn't get many headshots, so the range could have used some work. But our, our recovery from this situation is insane. We're down to just five people from, what was that, over 20? Is that a safe thing to say, chat? They had over 20? I'll even let you run. Go ahead, get a head start. <laughs> I'm coming in, chat. I've had enough. You're dead. Ugh. Avoided some swords. <laughs> We're gonna do it, chat. It's happening. Oh, took some damage. Unfortunate. We're getting a little greedy. Getting a little greedy. We have no ranged options. It's just us versus them. Did some damage. Our sword swing is actually getting so fast. I have to adjust the timing. I'm not used to it leveling like 20 something points in one combat. So I do actually have to change my timing of the swing, which is kind of awkward, as you can imagine. When you've been doing it for like two minutes solid, you're like, oh wait, that doesn't work anymore. All right, I need, yeah, let's get a good head start, spin around, punish time. Oh, swung it on the other side, it's not what I wanted. I did some decent damage there. You can see the little arrows are pointing what kind of attack it's coming from. So depending on what I'm doing, do a lot of damage. Just me and you, bandit. <laughs> You're going down. I want this experience. <laughs> Not restarting. I've committed, chat. The commitment is real. My sword is totally red. My arm is totally red. My horse is red. There we go. I did it, chat. Stupid bandits. <laughs> Done. Done, chat. Look at that. 26 killed. All me. Team didn't do anything. <laughs> Just died instantly. Okay, relationship with the Rodox improved by three. So we we are in there we are acknowledged by them now, so this is good. So that normally would have been a good upgrade for us. Oh, now we get javelins. Ooh, 15 leg armor. So if we're on the horse and they strike our leg, it does less now. It is worth keeping a few body armors around. You never know when a companion will need more leg armor or more base armor. But yeah, what a what a recovery chat. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed uh, the panic on the horseback. I mean, there were, there were so many people. <laughs> there were so many. 
So sometimes I actually don't take a shield. I actually take an alternate weapon for when I'm in those kinds of scenarios. So for example, spear would have been really good over shield in that scenario. Whereas if I'm fighting a lot of archers, I might opt in for the shield just to block some initial hits. So we're given our first chance at a bow if I really want it. The answer is no. I don't really want it right now. Also, I love that we have so many items from that one battle. <laughs> Do you like this chat? Look at this wall of loot. <laughs> so I could probably sell the club now. I think everybody's clubbing. We're good. How much money did we get from that, by the way? 271, we shared experience with the team. But I... That's probably fine. So anyway, chat, the first thing we're going to do... Oh, that's right, we leveled twice. I'm a liar. We're going to put two points in it, and hey, chat, we're going to get wound treatment, surgery, first aid. <laughs> so that way we recover from awful battles like that faster. And uh, I have a free point. It could go into anything. I could start pumping tactics... Um, or pathfinding to go really quickly. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. I want to move faster on the map. I feel this would be useful. We'd have somebody else for spotting, maybe. Just thinking about it. Well, hmm. It's always the conundrum. I, I have 12 more int points I could get, and then after that, it'll focus on something else. I could get engineering. I need a little bit of persuasion at some point. This is more a mid-game skill if I'm going to use it. Before I get, like, my relationship max is useful, but when I'm max, it's useless. Tactics is always useful. Um, I guess I could just go for tactics. So anyway, our archery is at 89. Crossbow is caught up for some reason. Our archery is now at max. <laughs> for now. It could go higher than 100. If you look at the skill, you could get up to 420 from purchasing uh, proficiencies. But anyway, what a battle. What an absolute slaughter chat. And hey, they came back with 46% health. That's not bad. I think you could agree from dead to 46%. I'll take that. Well, anyway, we're going to take our hard-earned goods. And we're going to go on a selling spree. I'm going to teach my companions. I'm going to point at them and be like, this is how you win the battle. Okay, that is commitment. Okay, we're going to keep the 23-9, because that's actually a pretty good set of armor. I will keep a 21-7, but I will probably sell it as soon as I pick up anything else. Nordic Sword is okay. I should probably keep one Nordic Sword. Anything else could just go. So chat, we're at a whopping 1,000 in cash already in the game, because, uh, again, I don't, I don't think the game anticipated for you to be able to beat an army like that, and then to also... <laughs> Be the only person in said fight. Oh wait, these are plus 19 armor? We should keep those. In fact, let me keep all three. Because we're going to give two to a companion and we can hold one for another companion. Again, the name of the game is companion building. And then when you're actually ready for people, build people. But obviously, if you're not feeling comfortable with combat, by all means, go recruit people. Just be aware that you're spending 10 per person. So if you want six people, you're spending 60. If your army size gets too big, they run away from you rather than challenge you which has its pros and cons. Um, are there any crossbow bolts here? There's a regular scythe. I, I kind of want to see a chat. I kind of want to scythe people. It's not very expensive. I think I got I think I got to scythe them, chat. <laughs> just, I just heard it, and I'm like, I want to see it. I haven't used the weapon before. Oh, actually, there's also the... <laughs> It's also the cleaver. Oh, it's a one-handed cleaver. No, 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 no. I want, I want the, I want the massive cleaver. Okay, so we're gonna receive four hundred in cash, even though I sold things. We did just so well in that fight. So we have the noble. We don't care about. We're gonna go into our party menu. Let's go ahead and let's see. That's a twenty nineteen and eight. Let's give him the 23.9, so he's a little tankier. Then we'll look at our other friend. 25 is probably good enough for now. A helmet. Uh, Probably take away the stones. Wish I had a quarter sap or something, because I would just give that to him. Point. Regular shield. Probably better. I'm alive longer. 
23.9 is pretty powerful. We have some okay backup items. We always hold a couple items for future characters. And the rest is just all sell. I love that we're at almost 1,500 money. We haven't we haven't bothered with the tutorial quest, which I, I mean I guess we could do it. I was hoping to get like just five companions because it would be funny. Because again, I don't think the game expects you to do that. You know what we're gonna do, chat? We haven't been finding many people. Why don't we go to a neighboring kingdom? And see if we can find our last two companions. Technically, we could have bought the uh, Privilege of the Noble. Or did I go to Veluca and check the tavern there? I don't... So we have another quest we could do at some point. So we have 24 days to do the other quest. I'm going to wait until we get another couple companions. Now, technically, I could run around the whole world map and look for them, but I just want to see people that are near us. That's just kind of my play style. Oh, we bumped into a bandit, apparently. How many are there? That's a lot. That's an unfortunate number. Well, chat, I should have not zoomed out of the map. I should have looked where we were going, because if I did, I would have realized I made a terrible mistake. Also, does the scythe only stab? Why doesn't it slash? It's kind of disappointing. Okay, so what we're going to do, chat, we're going to tell our companions to wait on this lovely little hill. And uh, I guess we'll we'll get to work, chat. <laughs> it's I'm disappointed. I wanted the scythe to be like a swing weapon, but we're only thrusting with it, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, to be honest. Also, that's an insane amount of damage. Um, We're going to run. Uh, we're gonna run. That is unfortunate. I forgot they have not used up their javelins. So I made a big mistake that cost me a lot of health. Javelins do a lot of damage. They only come in stacks between 4 and 6, though. So it's very easy to make them miss and burn out. But we have to make them miss and burn out before I get closer. Well, they actually have an archer. That's funny. So, oops, that was almost a character kill. Hey, Bandic actually did something. 19 left. I mean, this is fine. I'm sure chat would agree. Eventually, we'll make them charge. So we are getting them to split their ammo at least. Oh, no, there was an archer there. That was scary. That could have been very bad for us. Um, I feel like they probably have like another 15 arrows. I'm not going to mess with that one. What we are going to do, though... Ooh, Banduk got another kill. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little stabbing. Find me. A little, just a little casual stab between friends. So they'll eventually reach our companions, but they, they did get a couple kills. So I will say this is going much better than last time, even though I took a lot of early damage. Yeah, I thought the scythe was gonna slash, not thrust. The feeling a little disappointed there. Yeah, not gonna lie. Not a good use of our cash. It could be good to give to uh, Bardock, though. I did say I wanted to give him something, and this is uh, certainly a way to get them off of you. Yeah, because like I love slashing weapons, so that's why I usually stick to stuff that just says slash. They seem to be doing decently okay so far up there. Okay, so I think they took out three people so far. That's pretty good. So this also means they're getting experience, unlike before. We're gonna slowly level our polearm, if nothing else. I don't regret getting a polearm. We do need to level it at some point. Yeah, our friends are very gradually 2v1ing up there, so they should be fine. They did start off injured, though, so they can't take too many hits. Okay, our doctor got a kill. The doctor is in. It's pain time. Let's bring them up to our companions. I think they've done about... Well, they still have crossbow bolts. Okay, we'll move them a little closer, but not literally lead them to them. How's that, chat? We're gonna be nice. We're just gonna let them get some pot shots at a decent distance. Yeah, there we go. Jeremis, the guy with no crossbow proficiency, actually got a kill with the crossbow. I'm proud of him, chat. I'm so proud of him right now. So anyway, you can see what my strategy is going to be for the future. I, the decoy, will go around annoying the enemy repeatedly until they try f chasing me on their silly little legs when I have horse under me. They'll never catch me. 
still doing some damage here and there. I think our companions are low on ammo. They might officially be out. So what we're going to do is we might tell them to charge in just a little bit. Let's see if we can wound them a little more first. Now I'm going to give them a small chance of survival. Not like a good chance. But just say like, hey, maybe you could have lived. Maybe. There we go. We kill like three more. I think I'll have our companions charge in. Just keep in mind, the other guy's actually really good in melee. He's good at pretty much everything. I think we're gonna whittle down as many as we can first. I can't believe we're at almost 100 crossbow mastery this early in the game. How silly, chat. Tried aiming for their legs, got to none. There we go, got his leg that time. And say so your shield only blocks so much. That's like an almost reasonable amount of people to try to kill. Still got 18 bolts left. Nice. Leveled again. Again, we're power leveling, Chad. Normally you, you don't level like this because your soldiers will get kills, so you'll level slower. However... Now, if I'm higher level, I train everybody under me. So in a way, I'm just setting up for when we do get troops. Okay, their morale is already shaken enough that they're retreating randomly. I'm a little scared they're gonna reach me on this hill, chat. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. Okay, let's, let's use at least five more bolts. I think if we could get a couple more kills and save our companions some time. Got him in the foot. His leg armor is probably terrible. Got him in the foot as well. I think somebody is foolishly charging up the hill to take our companions. Let's let's give a fond farewell to poor bandit number 20. Deciding he can win that 2v1 <laughs> rather than fight the horse. Which to be fair, I guess it is better odds. But uh yeah, he's dead. Just goodbye. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna assume he is dead. And we'll move on. Oh hey, another person is trying to go up. Oh, they actually no, they're not they're not doing that. They're actually retreating. I'm gonna tell our companions to go in and kill. It's fine. There is not Oh, Bardock got knocked unconscious. We Jeremis got revenge. The doctor did him in chat. Good job, doctor. I'm just kneecapping people right now with the crossbow. Feels pretty disrespectful. So yeah, there's only a handful left. I think our doctor is chasing somebody right now. I already told him to charge. A little bit of damage there. Just a, just a little tap to let him know. Death is approaching him. Ooh, that did some okay damage. Yeah, as I said before, I want to give the scythe to maybe somebody on the ground. It looks like a lot of fun on the ground. But obviously going on the ground would be absolute death if they could just all swarm me. So we're not going to do that. Ooh, I'm not building enough speed to do damage. Build a little more speed. So unfortunately, our, our pull on proficiency is lowering our damage, and he has decent armor if you're wondering why I'm not doing a lot of damage. Okay, he left the battlefield. What a coward, chat. What a coward. Anyway, we... Hey, we got more prisoners. You know what? Looters are not worth as much as mountain bandits, so we'll we'll exchange our prisoners. I mean, that allegedly sells for up to 570 if I had a good, uh... 15 boots is actually big. I want to put this in a way that I won't sell it, so I'm going to do something like this. So I think we're doing okay. We have a lot of arrows if we get companions with them. Ooh, a fun favorite one-handed weapon is the mace. That is a perfect thing to give our doctor companion if he wants to use the shield. We have the two-handed maul, which unfortunately we don't have the strength to wield the giant hammer, which makes me kind of sad. I do, I do want to hammer people in the face and show them what's up. Yeah, we're just going to collect as much as we can. Again, I really wish there was a button to just accept all or... You know, you double click it, but it, double clicking just puts it at the top here. Obviously not useful. Anyway, so we just have a ton of things to sell again. We got a ton of experience. I leveled yet again because I'm a monster. 
Um, guess we'll get more tactics, even though it doesn't do anything at the moment. And I guess we could go for... Hmm. I don't want to go for engineering, because I want to give that to somebody else. I could give it for pathfinding eventually. I probably want tactics over pathfinding, because I don't mind it necessarily being slower for now. Also, chat, our archery is going even further beyond. It's at 103. I probably want to raise my polearm at least to 22, so it does a little more damage. But yeah, we're going to give up the uh, polearm. It was very disappointing. Wrong button. Very disappointing. It only thrusts. I, I don't want a thrusting weapon. Like, no. In fact, why don't I just get a falchion? Because that, that well, it has no reach. Mm, tough choices, tough choices. Could just go clubbing. I, I, I guess. Big sigh. I guess I'll just club people to death, you know. Anyway, let's pay... Let's pay attention to the overworld. I said while clicking away, because I saw somebody was there, but I was slightly too slow because I wanted to save in between. Fortunately, this is only five and not some heinous number. Also, reminder, chat. I had, like, what, half of my health? And look at that. I'm at three quarters health. This is the power of the doctor. And see, they're also able to join the fight because I have some ranks of first aid. Also, they climbed up that sign and I can't even go up at all. This is awkward. How did they, how did they do that? They're magical, chat. Maybe, maybe this game needs to take after Skyrim and just let me climb vertical mountains. It'll be fine. There we go. Go sideways, maybe? Uh, uh, there we go. So I think our companions actually probably could kill everything on their own. But I'll take some pot shots. I don't want to get hit by those arrows, though. Avoid it. Ooh, out of range. Oh, javelin. Oh, he's very bad at javelin. Nice. I mean, our companion should get this kill, question mark? There we go. Look at that, chat. They're doing their job. There we go. Look at them. They're trying. They did it, chat. Give them the participation medal. Hey, they got another kill. Nice. I do want them to level. So I don't want to hog all the experience. To be fair, we, we got a lot of experience. This, the doctor just pointing the staff out. Like, he, he's just jabbing them. Hey, look at that, chat. They're actually doing all the work. Oh, he went clubbing. Yeah. There we go. Club them good, chat. So I think our companions show that if they're not, like, horribly, horribly... Uh, surrounded, they're able to do things. So one thing I'm going to state is if a companion is wounded, they can't join in the combat, typically. And this is important to note, if you don't take any points in first aid and they remain wounded after they get downed in battle, their skills don't work. So if they have a skill that makes you move fast or, or tracks or does anything else, it's disabled until they're no longer wounded. So keep in mind, chat, I'm at 66, 23, and 20. Just trying to remember one of those numbers. We're gonna we're gonna check on that in just a moment. I just want to show you something silly. Let's take the most expensive things with us. Be good enough. Oh, it didn't activate. Never mind. I thought it would heal us there, or maybe it already. No, I don't think it did. So never mind. Disregard. I thought we would see the healing in real time, but we're gonna remember we were. At... Oh no, another group of twenty. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, we found their hideout. Ooh. So this is a special mechanic. So overworld enemies like the bandits typically have a hideout. Makes sense. It's a, it's a physical location on the map. Now, if we raid it, we could get really, really, really good stuff. The downside, it is fairly challenging. And I won't have the horse. We might save that for later. We're going to remember it's near Dumar. Like, that's that's actually really clutch. So, chat, they, they've they basically been stealing from the populace, so they'll end up with a lot of trading goods. It's possible we could get 4 to 5k out of it and get upgrades for our characters. Oh, look at that, chat. The looters think they have a chance. Oh, by the way, I'm at full health. Chat, remember when I was at 66%? I barely moved on the map and I'm full healed. 
this is the power of the doctor chat. If you were curious why I picked the doctor and why I think it's just objectively the right choice, it just means you don't have any downtime. You're always doing objectives. You're always going between things. You're always murdering shirtless men, crossbow, you know, all the good things. I think it's time to go clubbing. Oh, they can't even injure me anymore for the most part. That's so sad. <laughs> the bonk is coming. Give him the bonk. Yeah, bonked him. See, if we wanted to start capturing people, we could do this. Sadly, we haven't found the ransom guy, because we would have been able to get rid of the people we've already captured. Anyway, we're just gonna bonk on them like we're in Looney Tunes or something. Don't mind me. I haven't given our allies any orders because it's just looters. And they're decently armed, so they're really not gonna lose the looters for the most part. The looters would have to have something crazy to even injure us at this point. Love all the blood on the club. So anyway, we just knocked them all unconscious. Because again, they chose to fight us. Fools. Uh, 105 is actually a good fetch price. Yeah, we could go back to a town, and then I think from here... We have so much money, we could basically recruit whoever we want. Like, the most expensive recruit chat that I found is about... 400? I was gonna say 600. I think it's 400. You... Mm, I don't think you're the character I'm looking for. Do you have any tasks? Um... I guess we could go to Praven? I did say I wanted to go to a new location. So essentially, he is asking us to go to... I actually don't know where that is. One second. Where is Praven? Also, we have 24 days to eventually hunt the one guy down. I'm not in a rush. Oh, it's like the big... Why didn't I see that? It's like the big one. Yeah, never mind. It's the big one down there. Okay. We'll go to the big one down there looking for companions. So we're going to swoop around, see who we can get. If we get five companions, we could technically do the tutorial mission, which I've been skimping on, but we should probably do it at some point. You look like a companion. As I swing at her by accident. Lethe says hello there. From the look of you, I'd say you've gotten to some fights in the near future. Or you're, I'd say you're expecting to get some fights in the near future, excuse me. Are you by any chance looking for some help? We're gonna say, I could be, what's your story? Well, sir, as long as I can remember, I had a weakness for pretty things, and it's gotten me into trouble, you see. Ooh, she's a thief character. We need her in the party chat. I grew up in Malior Castle as a bonded servant, working alongside my mother in the kitchens. I would amuse myself by hunting mice through the pantries and sculleries. I was so good at it that I put the castle cats out of a job. And eventually the Lord realized that I might be employed to track down bigger game on certain errands of a type. Perhaps better left unsaid. Needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of trinkets that had formerly belonged to my lord's enemies. I was able to buy myself out of bondage and find hire as a free agent. My last job was here in Voluca. Unfortunately, my last employer's wife had a lovely amulet, a kind I simply could not resist. She doesn't know it's missing yet, but she soon might. So tell me, are you looking for helpers? Sorry, last you sound like you might be trouble or I might be. What can you do? Of course. She's a thief. We want her at the party. Well, sir, let me tell you. I now know how to read and write, but I know the quickest way to a man's heart is between his fourth and fifth rib, if you understand me. <laughs> nice. Chad, I like this character. <laughs> I think we're getting her in. I can throw knives in addition to stabbing with them. I'm slippery as Quicksilver. You'll find me useful in a fight, I warrant. Sounds like you could do the job I'll hire you. To be honest, I prefer someone who's a little less tempted to larceny. Okay, goody two shoes. Yeah, no, no, no. We want the thief. Now that's good news, Captain. So how about paying me a little something to seal off our agreement? A mere 200 would be enough. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I've had bad luck with employers in the past. We're gonna pay her 200. She's officially in the party. Okay, are there any other companions here? I think that's another companion? That guy's a mercenary, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, mercenary. You... are the minstrel. Never mind. Not important. Oh, but you're a companion. Hello, Borcha. Oh there, Traveler. You wouldn't by chance be in the market for a tracker, would you? I actually am. We have nobody with the tracking skill. We're gonna say perhaps what's the urgency. Well, sir, it's a long story. 
I had a bit of a misunderstanding here in Veluca about a horse that I had tied up outside the inn. It was the spitting image of a beast that threw me a few days back and ran off. Naturally, I untied it for a closer look. As it turns out, the horse belonged to a merchant, a pinched-faced old goat who wouldn't under accept it. It was all a simple misunderstanding. I went off to get the guard. But if I was with a larger group who could vouch for me, they might let it pass. I'd be very grateful to you. He looks so frumpy, chat. Perhaps, but I, how do I know there won't be a misunderstanding about one of my horses? Or I'll do no such thing. I have better things to do than help thieves avoid justice? And yeah, we're not choosing that option, chat. Sir, I'm offended that you would even think of such a thing. Being most indebted to you. You'll see that, I'll, you'll see that I show my gratitude. I've written over a fair amount of rough country in my time, and more often than not, in a hurry. I'm a good tracker, and I've got a good eye for terrain. What do you say? Good, you could be useful for us. I prefer not to take the risk. We're going to say you'll be useful to us. I'll be very useful to you, sir. You bet on that. Just one more thing before we leave. Do you mind lending me 300 dinars? I'm ashamed to say it, but I've made myself a bit of a debt here, staying in the tavern over the last few weeks. The tavern owners no longer believe that I am loaded with gold, as I used to tell them. You know, things could get ugly here if they see me leaving with you before paying them. We're going to say, very well, here's 300. I'll follow them with the rest. We now have two additional companions. So I believe we're at a party size of five and possibly ready for the tutorial. So before we leave the town, let's take a look at what their skills are. They said he's a tracker. He comes with pathfinding and spotting. These are absolutely perfect for us. We could make him tracking, pathfinding, and spotting. And just invest in his intelligence so he could get those skills faster. Plethy is... She's got throwing knives and a dagger. What a monster. Um, what else could we give her? Can't use that item. Ooh, she's got a low strength score. So we, she could go macing. And we could give her a shield, which would make her knives safer. So she's got really terrible armor. Remember how I said, chat? I'm going to hold on to armor. Immediately paid off. So she's now armed to the teeth. Or armed to the gills, I suppose is the saying. He just has a basic knife. Big oof. Oh, we could give him the scythe. Oh, that could be so much fun. Nice. Let's give him a shield. How are his boots? His boots are pretty good. Um. He has a... Oh, he's a tracker, but doesn't have a bow usage. Hmm. Let they use a bow or only throwing knives? Let's find out. No, so neither of them are trained with the bow. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and just arm them with shields, I guess, for now. Oh, you know what I could do? If her throwing score is high enough, she should be able to use throwing javelins, which we picked up earlier. She can use throwing javelins. That would actually be sick. Let's get rid of her knife. Let's give her throwing knives and javelins. That sounds fun, chat. That's just a fun way of doing range damage. And she could go clubbing if she wants to. Actually, we really don't need survivors at the moment. Oh, she can't use the Felchian anyway. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, wait a minute. We don't need people to live. Whatever. <laughs> I got punished, though. Anyway, let's sell our junk. I forgot to see what her boots were. We'll just keep the plus 12 for now. Look at all this money that we're making. We spent like 500 in purchasing them. But now we have companions that we can control. And they can't die, so they're not going to cost us money to replace. They do cost money to... Ooh, plus one arrows. Ooh, several plus one arrows. We're going to keep both of those. Uh, regular dagger I'm going to get rid of. If we really want another dagger, butcher knife is just better. Get rid of these. Get rid of the 19.8. That's just kind of mediocre. Falchion, sword, arrows. Arrows, arrows. Eventually, we'll get an archer. Ooh, 15 leg armor is better than 12. Let's get rid of this. And yeah, I'll get rid of these as well. So we basically... Oh, he can't afford it. Uh, Well, then we will take back a couple items. We we over... <laughs> we overburdened him. Uh, I guess what we could do is... We're going to use our food to denote things that we're holding for later. I could get rid of the helmets... We already found better for the most part. 
We're going to buy fruits, grain, we have cheese, fish. This should keep our morale up since we have a variety of food. Morale works on if you're doing really well in battle and keep killing things, the morale stays high. If you're in fights often, it'll stay high. If you lose fights, or if you're in a foreign war where they have, like, conflicts, then it could be bad. Uh, let's hunt down these seven people. So I just, I'm curious, chat. If I don't interfere, are our people good enough to just win? So I, I think we might have enough people. In fact, let's check the quest log. Said at least five men. We might need one more companion for the quest. So it's better for the companions to get the experience than regular foot soldiers, so... We'll, we'll see the point of view of our little companions here, chat. Also, I'm not sure why the music didn't kick in. Oh, older games, you're so silly sometimes. Yeah, we can just take some pot shots while we're here, why not? There it goes. I mean, I arched it down the hill, but it, it was a bit of a shot. Got his foot. Got him in the back. Jeremus got knocked unconscious, how unfortunate. Got him in the leg. Did you hit me for one damage? Who did that? Is that you? Jerk. I mean, they they did get bullied by the looters. That's a little disappointing. They're not quite good enough to deal with the looters yet. So we got to raise their proficiencies or get actual warriors. So the downside with companions, they take a while to babysit. So it'll take many levels before they get on par with most soldiers. Some get a head start and then they get like high weapon proficiencies, which is important if you're trying to make them a sniper, for example. But uh, yeah... They're just not quite there yet. Oh well. We tried to give them experience. We had mixed results. The Jeremus unfortunately injured. Uh I guess I could take these. Yeah, th they'll get better. They'll get better. Purely through levels and proficiencies, they'll start to outswing the enemy, and then they'll be fine. Beg your pardon, Butcher might have been a very good thief, but he's got not got the stomach to be a warrior, if you ask me. For last scrap, I was slicing open the guts of some of our foes to check for hidden gold. <laughs> Plenty, you can't just you can't just lead a statement like that. What do you mean you were opening their guts for hidden gold? <laughs> Clethy. He gagged and muttered that I was an animal. I inspect his innards for contraband if he doesn't keep a simple tongue in his head. Um, we're gonna say Butcher's a valuable member, I don't want you picking fights. So she likes us right now. Clethy <laughs> scares you. She just she just wants a little murder, Chad. It's fine. Doesn't everybody want a little murder? Oh, Freychen might be the guy I'm looking for. Are you the evil person? I say I know you. Okay, he threatened us. Oh, <gasps> yes, yes, yes. This is what I've been waiting for. Yes, yes. Oh. We found the evil guy, chat. This feast with the kingdom of Nords ill suits me, Sir Burns a lot. We've let those swine have their way for far too long. Now they get stronger with each passing and their arrogance knows no bounds. I say we must wage war on them before it's too late. Unfortunately, some of the bleeding hearts among our realm's lords are blocking a possible declaration of war. Witless cowards with no stomach for blood. We could say you're right, sir, but what can we do? Ah, oh, tis good to hear someone who understands. As a matter of fact, there is something we could do, Sir Burns a lot. A little bit of provocation. If one of our war parties managed to enter their territory and pillage one of their caravans, or raid one of their villages, and perhaps left behind a little token or two of the Kingdom of Rodox, they would have ample cause to declare war on us. And then, well, even the cowards among us would rise to defend themselves. So what do you say? Are you interested? Oh, count me in. So chat, this is one of the most evil quests you can take, and it is beautiful. So if we complete this quest, let's give you some contests. He said, set the borders aflame. See how I'm at 8,000 experience, chat? Handing in this quest potentially gives 2,000 by itself. Chat, that is 20% of our total experience, and we could apply this to all of our party members 
if we complete this quest. So it is absolutely worth being evil for that quest. Absolutely. But before we do that quest, let's see if we could get one or two more companions to share the experience. Also, that means we'll have better backup. In fact, let's hover to see how much we're healing. Yeah, they're still a little injured. We'll have better backup for the... Ooh, forest bandits, they have bows. I don't want to deal with them. Better backup for the hideout, as well as the main quest where he wanted a couple people. So we're slowly giving them XP through trainer, which is not super useful at the moment. But maybe in the future it'll be good. Let's go to the castle. Do they have anybody we could talk to? Yeah, we found the most evil of evil people. Found we found two counts. We're going to introduce ourselves. You look like a good enough sort. Little does he know. He's offering for us to be mercenaries. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's a little early for this. So if you were a melee character, this is your dream. You're being invited to bring your army, follow them around, possibly save companions in battle, get paid a decent amount so you can maintain a strong army, and also potentially work your way into vassalhood. I don't want to do that, though, at the moment. I don't want to do that at the moment. It's interesting they would hire me, though. Uh, there's reports of a forest bandit group. Sure, we could do that job. We found the mountain bandit one, ironically. Not the forest one, though. So we can look around the map and find them eventually. What we should be doing is trying to arm our characters with crossbows. It does just seem to be like a really solid choice across the board. Also, that's a lot of damage for the crossbow. Um, I'm gonna buy that, and can we get bolts? Are there any bolts at all? No? Yes. Okay, so this is a little expensive, but this is a long-term commitment. So we need our probably Borcha. Oops. Sorry for the weird menus. I had to leave the town there. Probably good for Borcha to get rid of one of his shields. And then if we give him a crossbow... He can now just start pelting the enemy. So we have just safe range damage. I forget if he has any skill with the crossbow. It's 60. That's okay. Nothing like fantastic or anything, but it, well, it'll do. Oh, there's the ransom broker chat. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Here's some prisoners. So we just earned 73, 73, 73, 32, 32. Nice. We got like 300 gold off of that. Hello, Marnid. You look like a recruit. Hello, would you be so kind to have a cup of, a cup with me? Down to my last five dinars, and I'd rather not drink alone. Your last five, what happened to you? It's a tragic tale, sir. A while back, I left Jororia with a cavern of goods, was hoping to sell it all in Sargoth and make a hefty sum. What do you know? We're ambushed by a party of Harajit raiders who rode away with the most of the horses and goods. And two days later, my own caravan guards ran away with the rest of what I had. So here I am, no money and no way home. It's him hard luck, but I'm going to say, well, perhaps I offer, can offer you some work. Can you fight? Well, I will confess I'm not a warrior by trade. It's okay, Marnid. Sometimes we just need people that are all book smart and absolute garbage in combat. I'm a fast learner. I can ride and know a fair bit about trade, prices, and such. We'll say that will do. Axe Lord run for marathon was approved in Brazil. Nice. Hope it goes well. So we now have Marnid in the party. And I think we have enough to do the tutorial quest without recruiting a single villager. <laughs> It'd be really funny. Uh, let's leave the town. Because unfortunately you can't talk to people in town for some reason. Hmm. Let's give him the ragged gear. Let's give him... Can't use that. His strength is too low. And improve his boots slightly. Give him a little hat. So it feels more and more like he's a criminal. Uh, give him this. Give him rocks. Because he's got nothing better to do. I don't really want him meleeing. I think this is good enough. He, he's got rocks, Chad. He'll be fine. So let's see what Marnid's skills were. Forgot to check. Um, he's got not a lot in anything in particular. He's okay at riding and athletics, so we could give him a horse eventually. But I think the real strong suit is if we give him a lot of int, we could make him potentially level up other skills we don't have. 
Also, bar Bunduk leveled. Oops. Menu. He had the little plus icon next to his name. He's got Weapon Master. He has Power Strike. I He's got 125 in Crossbow. That's actually insane. Um, hmm. I don't really need him to do anything in particular, to be honest. If we're going to have a melee character, I'm okay with it being him. I think the right play here is more strength for more health. Power Strike. And what what weapon does he have? I don't remember. As just a single-handed club, that's it? Can he do more? His one-handed is okay. I mean, like, I could make him level in that, but that seems like a waste. Let's give him a uh, two-handed at some point. Let's get him a simple two-hander. We could start murdering. Don't need anything too crazy. Just something like down here, maybe, that's two-handed. It's not a polearm. We have anything that is not a polearm. We have anything... Literally anything that is not a... We do not have literally anything that is not a polearm. There's a really expensive mace, but that's not worth it. Okay, so the game wanted us to go to... Uh, what was it? Praven? So we'll go to Praven, and then we'll actually bother with the tutorial. So we have, like, a veritable army now. We have five people with us, which is a lot of decoys. It's a live event. Nice, nice. I don't want to fight the forest. I found the forest bandit camp immediately. I did not intend to do that, but that's it. that just happened. Chat, that's what we call luck. So we need to clear that for a quest. So we have two camps we can clear. But before we do that, we should probably try to level. Also, who are we trying to provoke a war between again? Was it the Nords that he said earlier? Okay, so here's the deal, chat. If at any point... I might have missed one earlier. I wasn't paying attention. If at any point we see a caravan, we will attack the caravan. We will pillage the caravan. Actually, no, we can't take it yet without an army. We can attack the caravan to make them angry and then retreat. And then we could get 2,000 XP just because. I think that's the goal. You look like a mercenary versus a person I can recruit. I guess I should check upstairs in case there's somebody up here. Oh, no upstairs. Um, I don't know if we're going to be friends with this kingdom or not. That's why I'm not... Oh, that's a regular caravan. That's why I'm not doing any quests in the town here. I was thinking we were going to team up with the green team. So right now I'm just I'm just hopping between these, mostly to get rid of things. Now sadly, we went to Praven and the guy is not here. Is there a lady here that could explain where he went? Doesn't seem to be. I was just curious if you could interact with the chest. It doesn't look like it. So th those other foot soldiers don't talk to you. That's why I didn't bother. There's another Ransom Broker. Wondering is she? Don't really care about him right now. Hmm. So no new people, sadly. These might be the people that we have to just kind of beat the game with for now. Are there any good two-handers? <laughs> any, anything that is not... Well, two-handed axe is okay. Another crossbow. When it's got 41 damage, so that's actually better than our current one. Fun little upgrade. Good bow, eventually. Hmm. Iron Staff is a really good pickup. Although it's bent. Uh, yeah, I should probably still get it, even though it's bent. I don't like doing that, but I'll do it. Okay, so I just want to make sure everybody has a ranged weapon. That way they spend the beginning of their combat just kind of murdering. So this guy had nothing at all. He can't use it because he doesn't have a high enough strength. Is there a basic one I can give him? No. Did you have the basic one? Yes. So we could give him the stronger crossbow so he's already more effective. In fact, we're going to swap who gets what. So I now deal more damage. Then with this character... We're going to give him the basic beginner crossbow with bolts. So now our whole army has crossbow bolts. So we could just pelt them very unfairly from a distance. 
And if they get close, we'll see what happens from there. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to improve the good doctor's weapon. This does 18 damage currently. This does another 4 damage per swing. The other staff is okay. Um, I might give it to our friend Marnid here for more reach, to be honest. Just to see what he does with it. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we got everything in order here. So we're just going to briefly sell some things, and then I guess we'll go, uh... We'll go see if we can handle clearing any of the bandit camps with these people. They're a bit under-geared, but it's... They, do, they aren't completely gearless, but they're not as strong as it probably should be for that quest. So we'll take a little bit of a risk. We'll go back to the forest camp and clear it. And then we need to eventually go to a castle anyway, because we don't know where the king is. We have some time for it. We still have 22 days for the other thing. So again, I, do, I don't necessarily do the quest as soon as I pick it up, because sometimes I might get multiple quests in the same area. So I knew I was sweeping through for companions to, uh, going to Praven anyway, so I figured, you know, we'll get there eventually. We were slightly punished because the guy was no longer there, but that doesn't mean he's not nearby. Okay, let's let's save and then fight these forest bandits to get an idea of how hard this upcoming fight is going to be. So again, we all have crossbows now, and the person that doesn't have it, I think, has throwing weapons. They still have a ranged option. Now, the forest bandits are kind of deadly compared to the mountain bandits, because they should basically all have bows. We did slightly improve our companion's armor, but it's still not going to be great. Nice, did some damage. I got a challenge shot of four on it. Love to see it. I'm gonna walk backwards slightly. I'm gonna walk backwards much faster now. We're having a little bit of a shoot off. I can use the hill to block line of sight. That'll make them forget about me. Okay, Jeremy's getting a kill. Took a little bit of damage there, but worth it. Borsha got knocked out, rip Borsha. That armor that the bandit is wearing is actually really good. If we could get another one of those, that would be huge before we do an actually hard fight. Ooh, we're taking a ton of damage. It's not good. We're going to start riding away. I think our companion is screwed, chat. <laughs> Rip Jeremus. The doctor got absolutely butchered. So sadly, these arrows are really strong. So we might not be ready for the forest stuff yet. I might be forced to actually recruit. I know. How, how dirty. How dare you make me actually recruit people. Mostly just because I want cannon fodder to see eat up their arrows. Hello, Kirk. It's going okay. The forest bandits are being annoying. I know. We went really far without getting recruits. But these bandits are ridiculous. I just want to showcase. Like, we could get away with that with looters and melee people. Or people that are stupid enough to not have horses. But, uh, yeah. These arrows are a problem. And they have a lot of them. Eventually, they'll run out. Like, I will eventually win this if I can dodge. Yeah, they're basically all bows. Exactly. They're very, very annoying. So they're just going to waste our time. I'm wasting your time by extension. I'm hoping they run out of arrows. They will eventually. As we've seen before, they run out of javelins. We've seen they run out of stones to throw. They hit the horse. Not ideal. There's more people chasing me, so I think they are very gradually running out of arrows. There's like, what, three or... Why is that guy all the way over there? What the heck? So sadly, we don't have the armor to just go in and charge, or else I would do it. So we're honestly just playing the waiting game. Is there only one person with a bow left? Did you all run out of arrows? I think they ran out of arrows. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no. There's still one left. He was, like, way over here for no reason, of course. There's always one jerk chat that ruins it. One archer left. Of course. Took damage from that, which is annoying. Yeah, I think he just ran out of arrows. Oh, there's one more. Was there? Wait, where is he? What? Why is he there? <laughs> why? Why was he all the way over there? The fight was not there. Excuse me. 
Okay, now he's out of arrows. You, you guys good? You, you done? <laughs> Idiots. Chad, he was like leagues away. Like, what is he trying to do? Like, prove he's like the best sniper in the world? Why go that far? Yeah, we're not. We're 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 not playing fair, chat. Oh 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 oh, horse and tree do not mix. Go forward. Ooh, the tree randomly there really sucked because I didn't see it going over the hill. Yeah, so they have the armor I want our team to be using. Yeah, the tree did almost kill me for sure. Because again, we're moving blind for the most part when I'm walking away because I want to focus on the giant army trying to kill me. Not usually worried about trees. We're turned into a unicorn. Yeah, it's, it's got an arrow in the brain. Tell those Skyrim guards to step it up. <laughs> right, chat? Do better. Nice. There were 88 to kill, so if we need a thousand to level, I'm just saying, you know, we'll, we'll get there. See, so yeah, our first aid is not quite maxed yet, so they're gonna take a little bit of time to recover. So here's what we learned. I level, that's one thing we learned. But here's what we learned. We know that uh, we will eventually be able to do the forest bandits. However, I think it would be very greedy to do. I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but dealing with all those arrows with people that can't tank the arrows yet might be too difficult. So we'll leave it where it is for now. And we'll, we'll come back when we have just a little more experience. We might do the other quests first, the tutorial quests that I've been ignoring. Since I think we have enough people for it to technically work. And that'll be a much easier time than trying to beat forest bandits. Again, our proficiency with the crossbow is getting up there. I'm not sure if Chan is witnessing it, but it is getting much smaller, the aiming area. Like, it's getting actually fantastically close to, like, a first-person shooter cursor. I'm just saying. It now, now it's more me if it misses versus the game. It'll still be a bit big when I'm still moving on the horse, if you're wondering why it looks so big just then. So I do have to come to a dead stop if I want to see it shrink. Should have aimed a little higher. I gotta count for gravity. Always aim slightly above your target. I mean, they're coming for me. They might be retreating now, though. I mean, I don't blame them. I would be demoralized, too. To be so close to victory, and then it just slips out of your hands because you run out of arrows. All right, chat, what a shame. They almost had it. <laughs> almost. Unfortunately, almost isn't good enough. Love hit and run. Hit and run is so fun, chat. Nope. <laughs> if only they had stolen more arrows, chat. Well, anyway, we leveled again, so we get to feel good about that. <laughs> we lost our whole army, of course. Oh, we could get our first recruit. You know what, chat? <laughs> You know what? Sure, why not? Let's train peasant woman. Why not, chat? She's hired. Ooh, that is a fantastic armor. 27. <gasps> Even better quarter staff than the one I purchased. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the front lines, peasant. Hope hope you hope you enjoy your short short stay. I love that the first person we got, Marn hit level two. Nice, so he'll be slightly tankier. Oi, boss, I don't fancy myself a sensitive soul. But I don't particularly like Clethy went about cutting the throats of the enemy wounded back there. The way she whistles cheerfully as she does it, it puts a chill down my spine as it does. Clethy is a valuable member of this company and won't have you picking fights with our murder character. Clethy's a very special character, chat. She truly does not care. Okay, so let's level Marnid's Intelligence. And then we can level him in... What did I level him in last time? I think I gave him Engineering, which I don't need right this exact moment. Um, 
I give him anything in looting? No. I think I made him the alternate character for tactics. So I'm going to give him tactics for now and engineering. These are things that most characters don't have. Uh, let's improve his crossbowmanship since he leveled. So he's now more accurate. And as I said before, he could go from wildly inaccurate to the god sniper with just a few more levels. Also, we've leveled again because we are monsters. We're now at 20 intelligence. I'm going to max tactics. Um, Anything else I feel like putting a point into while we wait? I mean, I could take another just plus two in training. We do have somebody worth training, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, our crossbow's at 105. Let's level up polearm. So that needs to be good eventually. <laughs> Clefie again. My god, so intelligent. Yeah, we're the Brainiacs. So, yeah, we got it. We got an actual army. It, like, in theory, we should win against looters of the same size. So, Chad, you're going to have to help me keep my eyes peeled. We're looking for a light blue anything. If it's light blue, we attack it and murder it, and we're good. If we don't see light blue, it's fine. We get more chances later. Yeah, that forest bandit camp seems like it would be a nightmare if we did it right now. So I might hard pass on that. So what we're looking to do is probably destroy Bandit later. We Again, we have a lot of time to do this, and we know where it is, so it's not going to move. Uh, we need to find somebody in 30 days. We need to potentially murder somebody in a town. I guess we should see where the king is, if we can. There's six forest bandits. Uh, let, let's see how we do with this. So we actually outnumber them for once, and we have battle advantage two due to my tactics. So they have six people total. My question is, will they be forced to bring in all six because there's, you know, so many open army slots? I'm just curious how it'll handle. I've never did a battle at this low number before. It might not do anything, but I want to learn for science. Also, I forgot to give our armor to other characters. There are one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, so all six appeared. So, again, if they had hit the cap, they would not have spawned. Oops. Come on, peasant woman, do your thing. Charge! Yeah, I gotta aim way higher. Pretty far. Aim, like, here-ish. Too high. Peasant woman's going in, chat! No, they knocked Peasant Woman down. Rip Peasant Woman, Chad. <laughs> She's not dead dead, though. So that, that's the benefit of surgery. Let's patch her up and put her right back in the battlefield. Ooh, this is just too damaging. So this is what my concern is. I'm not worried about their melee damage. It's these damn bows. I know, Peasant Woman got destroyed. We're losing all of our people to the bowmen again. I ran into him and I shot him in the back like a pro. So we still have three of our companions left. It's going better than last time, somewhat. If we get close enough, they will stop using the bow and instead opt to melee. So I could trick them into trying to melee me, for example. Our other friends are still shooting crossbow bolts, though. I was going to try to just do a quick kill on him, but it didn't quite work out. Got him dead. So we have one companion left. We might be able to feed him the kill. Gotta bring him a little closer. There's two enemies left. I okay, misjudged the gravity there. Ow. Come on, companion. Companion, please. <laughs> His swing down animation ducked the headshot. I'm kind of annoyed by that. Stop that. Also, companion, please. You got it, companion. Bonk him. Yeah, he bunked him. <laughs> bonked him. And now we get another souvenir character. I remember when Peasant Woman fell. You got hunting bow, another quarter staff. Lots of quarter staffs, it seems. 
don't want to tell you Butcher may be rough and sort, but I will venture thorough going rogue as well, but I'm proud to call him my companion. Okay, based on how he did in that fight, I'd say I trust my back to him any day, although I keep my hand on my purse. Okay. So they had positive things to say, at least. Progress has been made. And he stabs with another quarter. So we're gonna upgrade him to the 27 armor. Um... He's kind of good with anything, so I should be afraid to give him something ridiculous, like a two-handed axe. In fact, let's give him that over the club. And I could just put a shield on him, even though I don't think he could actually use it. It's fine. Hmm. So he's got the bonking stick. So we give him this. That's an upgrade for him. I think everything else is fine as is. We'll look at our our stab stab kill kill character. Got a mace throwing knives and javelins. I think she feels pretty well rounded. I don't think I have anything I really want to add there. Since she's not on a horse yet, maybe well, I'll still give her some leg armor. The Borcha. Borcha is a two-handed weapon. He's the most complete character so far. Upgrade his body armor by one point. Hmm. Actually, what was the leg defense 14? So I'm just checking all their equipment, seeing if I can upgrade anything. Leg 14. Okay, so we give him more leg armor. That's good. Give him the black hood, which is better than the other one for head defense, as we are taking a lot of arrows. We could give him the slightly improved quarter staff, so he does three more damage a swing and is more likely to get through armor. I think that's okay. See, so yeah, our army is a little questionable. If we want to do these raids, I'll probably need stronger forces. But at least our companions are there. They're helping. Whoa, game, like, magneted me towards the enemy. I did not want to do that. <laughs> I did not click on them, but the game was like, oh, no. All right, we're going to say take it. I don't feel like doing a fight against potentially 30-something uh, bandits. I think we can all agree that would just be a terrible idea. But that one guy chasing me with only seven, that's just kind of foolish of him. Right, chat? That I don't mind. Seven v seven? We'll we'll take that. Fighting 33 something bowmen? I think I'm gonna say hard pass. <laughs> right, chat? Just I'm not interested. If they were normal foot soldiers, I would have been like, why not? But when they when they have bows, I'm like, oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm gonna respect the bow. Okay, I got the angle right, but not the, the follow up. There we go. You like that shot, chat? Like that took skill. I had to judge the distance and gauge off of gravity. It wasn't just like I'm aiming at their head. Well, that was slightly off. I was still moving when I shot it, my bad. Oh, slightly too far to the left. Peasant woman got a kill! That peasant woman is going in. She is, she's had enough of their tomfoolery. And then she got knocked unconscious. Well, you tried, you tried, peasant woman. Listen, you got your kill. That's more than some people in our army have gotten. Right, chat. Well, they, they, they got. They all got knocked out again. Peasant woman is honorary MVP. She got a kill. I don't think our companions did, but I, I could have missed it technically. How many arrows? No, I need you to not do damage to me for a little bit. I appreciate it. I hit him with the horse slightly, and that slowed me down. There we go. And you get a stabbing, and you get a stabbing, and you can get a stabbing. The free giveaway, chat. That was actually scary to go in against a two-hander when I'm using a single hand. He definitely had reach advantage. If he'd aimed that better, I would have taken a lot of damage. 
They shot me and made me interrupt my swing. Going. The horse bopped him and made me miss. So sad. I was literally about to let go and swing him. So you gotta hold the attack button in if you're wondering what's happening there. And then when you release, you do the damage. There's a bit of a timing involved. It's not just like automatic or anything. Ooh, two-handed weapon. Let's respect it, even though it's a quarter staff. It's fine. We still respect. Oh, yeah, I'm going to respect it so much. I'm going to reload my crossbow. Challenge accepted. I win. <laughs> right, chat? He thought he was going to outshoot me. Get out of here. What do you take me for? Hey, chat. We're getting our first recruits. We got two peasant women and a farmer. Truly the army of a century. See that? We don't need to go and pay money to get recruits that are useful. We can just get random peasants that could die any second. Truly, that's better than the other choices. So she gave me upgraded to camp follower. Hmm. All right, so I think what we do, chat, we're going to walk around and let time pass. And in the meantime, we just need to find the king. Let's go to this place and see if anybody has seen the king. We'll be able to heal a little in the meantime. I do not want to do a tournament right now. Let's go to the castle. Is anybody here? Where is your king? Fine lady. You're the longer reaching two-hander, the crossbow. You're right. Where is the king? Close to Praven. I just oh, I just was at Praven, you jerk. But the, oh, I just... Is he returning to Praven from somewhere? That's annoying. Actually, before I do that, let me uh use the tavern. Anybody new in here? Ransom broker. Sell the forest bandit for 73. That's nice. Could buy the watchmen. They're very expensive, but they would be very tanky. Hmm. Expensive for where we are in the game. Later in the game, 300 is like, whatever. Like, yeah, I could sneeze and like use that many coins comparatively. We haven't seen any mercenary caravans, but hey, chat, we've managed to actually build up our first army by not doing any of the core mechanics the game tried to teach us. All right, so they just leveled. So I, I did a mechanic. I'm going to explain because this one was not clear to me. So I'm training characters, right? With Sir Burns a lot. He's got trainer too. Now, if there are multiple people of the same type, they level faster than if you have one character of each type getting experience from them. So she didn't need to go through, like we'll take, we'll talk to her real quick so you can understand. She needed a lot to level, but because of the way, the way stacking works is kind of nonsense. So now both of them are there. So let's go ahead and pay money. So it's like we're recruiting them for the first time and they've now become camp followers. Let's see, they now seem to be sporting a crossbow and they got 70 across the board and they went from level one to level five. So, I'll still give them experience because I'm level 8. So, these are actually, like, legit characters now. Well, thank you for stopping by, Calvisham. Hope you have a good night. So, we actually have legit crossbowers now, chat. They're not just, like, poor peasant woman is going to die randomly to random things. Or are they outspeeding me? They almost were. That was scary. They were just looking for the king. We're going to deliver the letter. Where is your king? We're going to talk to him. I don't really care what he has to say. Where is your king? He's still near Praven, but not in Praven. Okay. Let's take a little look around, see if we can find him. But yeah, we have a decent army. I mean, we have two cannon... We have three... <laughs> Technically, everybody's cannon fodder, but we have three... Verified cannon fodders. AKA the peasants. Oh, there's the king. I'm surprised we didn't see him earlier. He didn't seem to be hiding or anything. We're going to introduce ourselves to the king. He's looking for people that he can trust. We have a message for him. Relationship with the count increased from negative three to negative two. Why is it negative? Wait, why is it negative? What? What did we do? Power? What? My, my brain exploded. <laughs> I didn't do anything yet. Is he mad because I have two honor? Like, did that make him mad? <laughs> Everyone is cannon fodder when you're the protagonist. That's very true. 
Yeah, I'm kind of liking this so far. So the more we avoid combat, the more they passively level. And basically what will happen is that there are certain level ups of the characters that are set. So like a recruit might become a foot soldier. But from there, the foot soldier could be a skirmisher or it could be like a veteran unit. So you have some control over what they become. Uh, let's see, what else are we doing? So we did that quest. We go to Shaza and finish that quest if we wanted to. We destroy the bandit lair, which would be an absolute nightmare right now. Why don't we go to the green place and see if any of these people want to do a quest. And if we happen to see anybody from the Nords here, we immediately drop what we're doing and go do it. Because we have enough characters, they could benefit from the experience. We have enough here that we could probably take out a bandit camp. We don't need, like, a ton of people. Hmm, nobody's here. Yeah, see, we gained... <laughs> we gave out 150 experience worth, basically two kills worth of experience to everybody. We see the mountain bandit camp. You know what, chat? We're gonna commit. Let's get some actual cannon fodder. I bought recruits, so that way the game will be happy. There we go, chat. We have a real army now. We did it. Are you in your castle? You're not in your castle. Where is everybody? Are they warring with somebody right now? Hmm. Oh, uh, that's a lot of people. Do I really want to risk the army? Not really. Let's attack the hideout, though. Let's, let's see how it goes. We only have a handful of people anyway, and we have enough followers that this should be fun. If you're one... Oh, wait. Is that peasant woman in the front? Oh, no, it's not. It, oh, it, it, oh, it's a camp follower. Oh, we needed one more companion. Well, peasant woman, you've upgraded to be one of the MVPs. <laughs> I guess you're going to level peasant woman. Chad is going to be so sad when peasant woman inevitably gets headshot by something. Oh, speaking of headshot, that was a nasty headshot. Please reload. Thank you. Getting bullied. Get them off of me. Nice, we got some experience. Let's reload. So you can see it has this awkward leaning over animation when you're on foot. Not great. Okay, I'm trying to protect... Oh, never mind. Uh, peasant woman has a pick. She picked him in the face, I think. Maybe she doesn't need defending chat. Maybe she's more capable than I am. She's the true protag, confirmed. Flipped him. I don't really care if I get the kill. Honestly, if our companions get the kill, it's probably for the best. Camp woman getting a kill would be kind of sad. Oh, I shot him in the groin. Yeah, that's a that, that's a good way to dispose of him. So yeah, we'll be doing something similar with the forest banditry, but our armor is really poor. So we're like, these people are not like a huge, huge threat. Like, I, I have to care if they hit me with like a two-handed weapon, obviously. But uh, I don't have the, quite the threat of constant bolts being shot at me. If they just have rocks. Oh, yeah, I mean... Now it feels like our team is somewhat competent. Yeah, exactly, yet. Unlike that guy's pathing, you know, they feel kind of competent. See, they're, they're holding their own right now. We have a wall of elite snipers. And the other guy decided it's time to go clubbing. I, mean, I don't blame him, it's fun to go clubbing. Oh, I see even knocked him unconscious. Or she did. Nasty, let's reload. Oh, there, there's one guy left. He's playing peekaboo. Wait, where did you go? He's running in slow-mo. I shot him in the arm just to wake him up. Oh, Clefty got knocked over by the mall because it's a two-hander. And then she beat him unconscious. Okay, that went pretty well. So see, chat, look at all the items I'm about to receive. This is worth 300. This is worth 150. This is worth 100. This is worth 100. This is worth 100. This is worth 50. This is worth... 50, 50, 50. We could get food. More types of food improves morale. Uh, I guess I could sell some of these. Again, we're not going to pick up literally everything because there's just it's just not possible most of the time. Um, I don't really want to fight 31 with our team. I'm kind of happy the way they are. I'm just, I don't need to go too crazy yet. Let's go to Yellen, see if we can sell anything, and see if we can find anybody. Otherwise, we'll just move on to another quest. So I'm feeling happy about this. We have got a decent number of tribes people. We have crossbower. Oh, the poor mountain people. 
Oh, you clicked towards them. I didn't click towards them. That was rude. Well, we're about to lose our army, I think. I was definitely... I don't know where you saw... The I'm pretty sure chat saw the mouse was left. And then my character went forward. I'm pretty sure chat saw that. That was, that was some BS right there. I don't know if maybe the action button overrides it or something. I don't know. That, that was very suspect to me. Anyway, at least we're basically at full health, even though we did get hit earlier, thanks to first aid and treatment, etc., etc. So yeah, we just need to level the doctor a little bit, and then we'll be good. If we could get more armor ourselves, these arrows will not be a big problem. So, what you could do... And what I would recommend if you're looking for stronger gear without losing a lot of money is you can go to the Nords in the south or whatever direction you want to call them out. The blue team that we were looking to make mad. They have the Sea Raiders there. The Sea Raiders are very tough, but if you manage to get a small group of maybe six or seven, they're not too bad if you have 20-ish people. I know that number sounds ridiculous, but they are really, 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 really difficult. Um, if you manage to kill them, you can get armor that essentially negates all the damage of what's being dealt to us here. So, like, if I'm taking, let's say, six damage, I think I could reduce it to zero to one, comparatively. And as you can imagine, that makes all missions in this area very easy. We're actually killing a fair number of them. I'm kind of surprised at how well we're doing. I think we're actually beating the bandits in a 1v1. Despite most of them being base level. So we're at the point I can tank some body shots because I have a uh, good armor. That's why I'm not taking like 30 million damage anymore, but I'm taking some damage. That was a headshot. Oh, beautifully aimed. So yeah, look at that chat. Most of our army didn't die. And they only got wounded. We didn't lose anybody. That's good. We now capture five prisoners. Uh, we're out of space. Really awkward. Um, I think I can only pick this up. So sadly, the rest has to go to waste. And it didn't too badly in last fight. He's a good egg, too. Without good honest souls like him to bring silver into Clergia, scoundrels... Like me would have a hard time in life, I'll warrant. I'm glad to have him with us. Okay, so we resolved a dispute. That's always fun. So we're losing more money each day, or each week, I mean. But 26 is not a lot. As Shaq can see, that's like, what, three or four items sold? That's like nothing. No one cares about that amount. It's only when we start getting really upgraded troops that it starts to become a problem. Let me just get rid of all of these. Oh, that merchant has no more money. We have to switch who we sell it to. So again, uh, I could keep the butter for morale reasons. Let's see arguments on either side for that. Let's actually use the spear. That should work a little better than what we had before. I want to keep two bows. I'm just seeing which ones would be viable. So that's the worst of the bows. Let me get rid of that. Don't need a bad quarterstaff. Keep the plus one arrows. Get rid of the minus two arrows. Get rid of the armor. I don't think we need any of these. Sell these. Sell these. Sell this. Get rid of this. That's only a 13. We want the 15 damage bows. In fact, there's one without anything. So I think we could just get rid of one additional bow here. I don't want to hold too, too many items. So I'm already a little worried I'm holding too much. So let me get rid of... Javelins, I don't need that many. Uh, I probably don't need this many plus one arrows, so I'll get rid of a few. Got two bows here. Don't really need stones, I guess. Stones away. I have a, one of every sword type if I really need it. Probably a bit excessive. Move the food up here. So it says fresh beef here. Certain food items can expire, mostly the meats. So we have to be careful about that. We're on a longer journey. Is there a really cheap glove I could buy? Like, can I pay, like, 400 for 3 armor or something? 600 for 4 armor is not bad. But I, I've seen better prices. Because this would potentially... I mean, I should probably just get it regardless. Yeah, I'm just going to buy it regardless. 
We're going to call that a long-term investment. So now we're, we're taking potentially four less damage a shot. I think that's worth going for. I was complaining I needed to be slightly tankier, and I had the choice right there. I should just take it. Didn't take all of our money, and it's just the quality of life thing. We have Gootlands here. Doesn't really like that we're not of noble birth. He's asking if we want to join the mercenary company. I'm going to tell him not now. As I said before, we're, we're, the, the point of the game is to just kind of showcase things versus like go to full-blown war. If people are curious, you basically follow a person around and they give you tasks as they siege. But as you can see, we have like almost nobody. It's like, it, I don't think it would be worth it to us to honestly do it. Hmm. No, we're going to do chat. We're going to... Oh, I was going to say, we're going to recruit one more time so we can fight the mountain bandits on even grounds. I think if we could get five more regular foot soldiers, we're good. But in the meantime, we should probably level up our skills. Let's go ahead and improve intelligence so we can get better wound treatment, first aid. That's good enough. Let's improve his crossbowing so he can snipe better. And eventually he needs weapon master so he can get easier proficiencies. And then we'll give him pole arms so it swings quicker. Let's see, Clethy is doing whatever she wants. She is. Oh, she's got a uh, pathfinding, spotting, tracking. So we could do tracking, pathfinding, and then we'll do spotting later. Let's give her a power throw. Guess I can improve her throwing for now. Can't follow her leveled to Huntress. Sure, why not? So she went from level 1 to level 10, by the way, chat. Her accuracy's getting up there. It's 85. The tribesmen are almost ready to be leveled. I think we'll end up making a lot of crossbowmen, to be honest with you. We'll upgrade the other guy to a watchman. Uh, we'll hold off on leveling that last character. As I said, So one thing, too, is if you split the stack, so let's say you promote one person and then you keep four behind, the other four will level slower don't really want to do for the obvious reason let's get surgery so they're not as likely to die on us be nice we'll do first aid and surgery actually that way our allies recover more health between battle and they have a four percent chance of living as in our other people we'll level two-handed weapons so i can eventually use this without feeling completely garbage so i think at this point chat we just need to recruit from one more place since we have to go to Chesa, why don't we just recruit from Chesa? Oh, one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to check if the uh, guild quest reset in Yilin, which I really need to do at some point. We don't have enough money to do what I'm looking for. We need like another 1,000 or so, and then we'll be good.